G'day, it's Heath here from PickleLessons.com. The Sailor's Wife, this is a great jig in the key of D minor. In a moment, we're gonna take a look at part A of this arrangement here in this video. But if you head to PickleLessons.com, you better grab yourself a copy of the chart that we're working through, part A, part B. We'll break down in the member section though, the lesson for part B, and you'll also have a play along and backing tracks there to help you with your practice. Now, we're gonna have a look at part A here. There's some interesting techniques. We're kind of moving around positions to help us access some of these melody notes. Being in D minor, we have this F, G, A, which is pretty awkward to play on one string. So we're moving around a little bit to help us kind of capture those notes. So let's have a look at part A first and we'll break down how to play it. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Okay, so there was part A. Now let's have a look at some of these techniques. Firstly, we are in 6-8 time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Two pulses in each measure, broken into sort of 6 or 8 notes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, we're going to look at how our picking should apply to that in a moment. But let's have a look at this first measure where we do have this hammer on and pull off slur that we find. Firstly, we've got this down, up, down, down with our picking to kick us off up to that fourth note in first measure. That's really important. As we move through this tune, we're going to try and pick consistently down on the pulse. So that pulse there is a down stroke. So down, up, down, down. You might be wondering why we've got two downs in a row there at a such quick tempo. It's really because of the pulse and this 6-8 time signature. You can pick it as an upstroke, an alternating stroke, that would be okay. We'll, we'll discuss that a little bit further along. We're up to this second half of the measure where we have the hammer on and pull off. The first finger, second finger, flick, flick. As we play this, the counting for that section is four, five and six and. Five and six and at a slower tempo, break it down like that. Hammer on, flick, down to the open strings, so two, two pull-offs in a row. There's some space there between the fourth and the fifth notes in the measure because of that dotted note. So hold off on the hammer on. Kind of squish them all together as you get used to it and pick up the tempo, so that's kind of cool. Really hold off on there, that, that works really nicely. So that first uh, opening measure, good one to practice, get that one down. So now measure two. This particular measure we have that quarter note, eighth, quarter note, eighth. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Picking is pretty obvious in this section, down, up, down, up, that works really well, and that's how we go about this particular rhythm structure. Measure three. We have two groups of three eighth notes, so two pulses, two groups of three. Watch my right hand. Down, up, down, down, up, down. The two downs in the middle. Down, up, down, down, up, down. We're really emphasizing the pulse as we do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you alternate it, be careful not to play it like it's in three, four time. For example, very different feel. So, so playing the down, up, down, down, up, down really does help us emphasize that pulse. Uh, and this is one of those positions actually where we're playing to make it a little easier because we could play that um, uh, F note there all on string one. But it just makes it a little bit more uncomfortable to be honest. So moving the F across to here, different position, change position as we move through. So we do that a few times in this tune. So that pinky there on the F. Measure four. We have this um, section, we're gonna hold the A and the C down, up, down then the down, up, down to the C, second, third, first, second, won't matter with the fingers. We're about to go into uh, with first and second anyway, so if you find yourself using one and two on there, perfect. Otherwise, two and three is great. Picking though, down, up, down, down, up, down, 
following that um, that jig approach that we've been speaking of. So measure five, measure six, now we have a repeat, basically like the beginning. Measure seven and eight, turn around before the repeat. Measure seven. We're up the neck here, we're at position five with our first finger. Uh, what have we got? The A, the F, and the D. We could play it down there, but again, that's just a bit more challenging. That would be fine, but approaching it this way, we're keeping it more compact. And then finding the G, the E, and the C sharp in that position to the D. So the movement works pretty well. Um, and, and it kind of just helps to smooth it out when we can keep those notes more compact. There's nothing wrong with playing playing it in that position, but it just kind of, like I said, it kind of groups everything together in a little bit more of a comfortable way. Picking though is really important. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, then emphasize the pulse. Every pulse we have should be a downstroke. That's the approach we're taking. Now, if you head to pickandlessons.com, you will find this chart, but in the member section, we're gonna break down part B, just as we've done with part A here. You've also got the play along and backing tracks. That will help you as you're getting to know the tune, slow them down and you put them in this slow down and slow them down. Bring them up as you're getting to know the tune. It's about a 120 that we recorded, a little faster, a little slower. It's a ballpark tempo for this jig. It, it's, they're all pretty quick jigs in general. So making sure as we're learning it, we reinforce the right approach for our left hand and our right hand picking is really important. So do start slower, get to know what we've done here in part A. But jump on over to pickinglessons.com and I'll see you there.